what's up guys how's it going it is Matt here so in my videos in the past I've talked about how to conceal a full-size pistol I've talked about the difference between concealing a full-size pistol and a compact pistol I've very I've talked about various sizes of pistols and which ones are the easiest to carry so now today what I'm going to talk about is what size pistol should you carry it is a, qu a common question. I get it. People say, should I, you know, I can conceal this pistol better, but I shoot better with this pistol. Which pistol should I conceal? And I usually give them a pretty st standard answer, which is a very common answer that you hear, which is carry, is the, carry the biggest damn pistol you can that you can hit with. That is pretty much the same answer that I give to everyone that asks me that question. There's a lot of people out there who will tell you the same thing. However, there are a lot of people out there that will tell you carry a pocket pistol. Carry a tiny little pea shooter, carry a little revolver, carry a little LCR, LCP, carry whatever it is, as long as it's small enough and you fit in your pocket, and you'll never have any issues whatsoever. And that's how you conceal carry. Now, yeah, it's true. You can conceal those tiny little pistols the best. You can absolutely conceal them best no matter what you're wearing, the attire you're wearing, or whatever it is. You can pretty much conceal a little pocket rocket, all right? Everyone can carry and conceal a pocket rocket. It's not complicated. It works with every single layer of clothing that you have. The standard ammunition for these tiny little single stack, very, very slim pistols is between six to eight rounds tops. Now, keep in mind most statistics, it's hard to get actual statistics, but the majority of statistics as a civilian firefight is usually between one to six rounds that's fired. So yes, that will fit in with the amount of ammunition that you're going to need with the firepower that you're going to need now a lot of people will go out there and tell you that you need to carry a double stack that has 15 to 17 rounds you need to carry two spare magazines because if you get into a, gu a gunfight god forbid you're going to be surrounded by zombies and terrorists and everyone else and you're going to need a thousand rounds in order to get through a civilian based firefight at some gas station somewhere or at the local you know stop and shop or wherever it is so they will tell you carry as much ammunition as you possibly can because you don't know what the scenario is. And on top of carrying all that ammunition, all those spare magazines, you need, need to carry at least one or two extra pistols just, because, just in case because God forbid, who knows, you might need to double hand it. You need, might need to go freaking Matrix style and go crazy with it. Is that realistic? It, it's not even close to realistic. If you're in a combat zone, 90% of the time you're going to be using a long gun. If you're carrying a pistol in a combat zone, yes, have two to three spare magazines on you. But for the most part, you're just going to be using a long gun. But in the civilian world, as a civilian, just going about your everyday life, do you really need like 50 to 100 rounds on your body to defend the cell, yourself and your family? On top of that, with all the extra weight, I bet, I'm bet hoping you have a good belt because otherwise your pants are going to be falling down depending on how many guns and ammunition you're going to be carrying. So this is going to be one of my other realistic videos, another realistic, real-world tactical video regarding what size gun should you carry. Now, everyone is different. Every body is different. Everyone can conceal a pistol a little bit differently than the, the, the average person. But here's the thing. Pretty much anyone, yes, anyone can conceal a tiny little pocket rocket. But you'd be amazed how many people can conceal a compact pistol too. You'd be amazed at how many people can conceal a full-size pistol, even an extended slide pistol. People can conceal those pistols. They do it on a daily basis. It's not a complicated thing. It depends on how you dress, where you put it on your body, the holster quality you have, the belt you have. You put all those little factors together and you can conceal just about any size pistol out there. You honestly can. If you're carrying a full-size pistol, you can conceal it in a t-shirt or a button-up shirt. It's not that hard. If you're carrying a compact pistol, you can conceal it in pretty much anything that you're wearing. If you're carrying a subcompact, absolutely, you can conceal it in freaking, you know, your birthday suit. <laughs> no, not quite your birthday suit. You can pretty much conceal it if you have a pocket available to you. But in a real-world scenario, what would you rather be concealing? Now, we're going to talk about a couple quick factors. So, it's simple. The bigger the gun, the easier it is to handle the gun. The bigger the gun, the more accurate, the more consistent it's going to be. As you start dropping down in size, the pistol starts getting a little bit snappier. You know, compact size, not so much. But if you start going down to subcompact si sizes, regardless of caliber, the pistol starts getting very snappy and it's a lot harder to handle. A lot of the subcompact pistols, you have a little pinky in the wind. You have that little fancy pink, you know, pinky hand. 
your, on, on your pistol because you can't the, the pistol grip is so small so now you're trying to shoot a pistol that's very snappy that's very small with not a full grip on that and your grouping is going to open up it will open up your first shot may be good but if you have to do quick follow-up shots your groupings going to open up because it is a very snappy pistol even if it's just a 380 or a 9 millimeter the smaller the lighter the pistol is the snappier it's gonna go now when it comes to me I have care concealed carry my snub nose 38 revolver I probably won't be doing that as a standard pistol anymore after an issue that I had in uh, the summer which kind of scared me and I realized wow I chose the wrong gun for today type of deal but when I had my snub nose revolver I can push it out to right around uh, I'd say about 45 yards I push it out to about 45 yards my bad 45 feet I push it out to about 45 feet and the group spreads out pretty good I mean that's far away that's a decent far away and with a little snubby the group spreads out that far can I hit the target yeah but if the target's this big and you put it on a body, you're looking at a, a section like that, and I'm a big dude. Some people are thinner. So the smaller the pistol gets, the more the groups are going to open it up, the snappier it's going to get. The lighter the pistol is, the snappier it's going to get. I've carried a compact. I like my compact. It pretty much blends into whatever I'm wearing all the time. It blends into whatever I'm wearing. I've also carried a full-size pistol, and I love carrying my full-size pistol. I prefer a full-size pistol over anything else. If shit hits fans, something goes down, if I have to defend my lives with my friends and my family or whoever it is, I want a gun that I know for a fact every single thing I aim at, I can hit the damn target with. And I want to hit it hard. I want to hit it with a bigger caliber that'll do some serious damage to it. So I want to hit it hard. I want to hit it accurately. And I can do that best with a full-size pistol. Now, there are a lot of people out there that say, Matt, you cannot conceal a full-size pistol. You just can't. They're too big. The pistol grip's too big. And it's impossible. You cannot conceal a full-size pistol. So, my response to those people out there that think you can't carry anything other than a pocket rocket or a compact pistol or anything like that is this. So, let me adjust the camera real this quick. This is what I'm wearing today. T-shirt, nylon apparel, something I got at Goodwill. Guess what I'm carrying? Any questions? You can conceal pretty much any pistol if you have a good belt and a good holster. Your body may be a little bit different than someone else's, but you can adjust it and find out a way how to adjust that pistol. If you are wondering what size pistol you should carry, the answer is this. Carry the biggest damn pistol you can that you can actually hit the target with. If you have a hard time hitting the target, or you aren't, you are no longer a consistent shooter, or you aren't as confident in hitting, hitting the target. You need to carry, a, you need to start carrying a bigger gun, one that you know for fact that if a bad situation can, you can pretty much hit anything that comes your way. Now, for all the people out there that really enjoy this content, I want just, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. Right now, as you know, there's basically a war on gun channels on YouTube and on Facebook and everyone else. People like James Jaeger, you know, you know, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of him, but people like James Jaeger, their channel is just completely banned from YouTube. Both of his channels were actually banned from YouTube because he's a gun channel. He, he's a little bit of an attitude issue, but his because he's a gun channel, his channel was banned. Such, one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. He's gotten multiple strikes on multiple occasions, like they're trying to get rid of his channel too. Mac, Military Arms Channel, he's always getting strikes on a daily basis, nonstop. A lot of gun channels out there, we are completely under attack. Like every time I post a video, I throw it up there and it's automatically demonetized. I actually stopped requesting to get it monetized because it just won't go through. It never goes through. YouTube no longer accepts that. They don't care anymore. They're literally just really going to town, hitting us as hard as we possibly can, trying to basically get rid of the voice of the gun channels. So if you guys like this content, if you would, guys, go check me out over at Patreon. Through Patreon, you can actually help fund this channel. You actually help fund this content so I can keep bringing you good, good content. Eventually, what I'd like to do is I'd like to make this whole YouTube thing, my channel and stuff like that, wherever, wherever platform I go to, if it's Facebook or YouTube, I'd like to make it a pretty much a full-time job. I work at a gun store on the weekends. I'd love to make it a full-time job to actually teach this guy and train you guys and give you my opinions and stuff like that. I'd love to make it a full-time job on top of being a dad. So if you would, guys, go check me out over at Patreon. <laughs> Support this channel if you'd like. If not, just go to our Patreon. I put specific content out there. And once I reach my first goal, which will be coming up soon, I will actually start giving out prizes and stuff like that to groups of people. I'll be doing grand prizes and uh, I have uh, like a tier system set up 
So if you get into a certain uh, tier, your or different prizes are going to be available to you. So go check me out on Patreon, help support this channel, or help support other gun channels. If it's not quite my channel that you like, if you'd rather go to like Yankee Marshall or whatever channel that's out there, go support them because our voice needs to be heard. Heard. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.